Welcome back to my channel today and we are doing something that I've been working on for quite some time. I've been trying my building skills again in The Sims 3 and it is uh, harder than I thought. So it took me a while to build this. It took me like a, almost three hours to build this entire house. I built it first like on a day that was like I wasn't busy and then I got busy and I forgot about it. And it's like, oh wait, I should finish my the house for my sims 3 let's play i should do that because they were in dire need to actually have a better house so i tried to i tried my best to make a sunken garage i think i made it i think i fixed it i don't know i i tried my best to make it look good as possible so i don't know it should have covered the whole thing but it didn't work that way and yeah i used a lot of constrained floor elevation here so yeah yeah, I have problems with making houses in The Sims 3. It's been really long. I think it's been almost, it's been a year. Yeah, it's been a year since I've created a house in The Sims 3 that actually looked good because I'm like, I'm not a good builder in general in The Sims 3 or in The Sims 4 generally. I see a whole much better builds in mine in The Sims in general. I just do what I like and I like it looks great to me I'm gonna use it and that's what I do I I like this house I was I've built it before like what I generally do is I build the house that I want to build I build it all up the way I want it to look like and then I delete the whole thing because I'm like I feel pressured when I record I don't know that's just that's a, that's me that's just me I feel like when I hit the record button I feel so pressured and I talk really fast and I build too fast and I'm like I should not do that I should just generally just slow down build it first then delete it and then rebuild it so I always like take a picture before I delete it so I know what I want what the the layout I want to look like so here here's the here's the thing right here yeah um I use constraint for elevation for this just to make it look semi uh Good. So there's like two freezes in this house. So you walk up one level, like in this millet level, and then on top of this one, there's another freeze. So you walk up that one, and then you get up to the second floor. So basically, there would be like there's four floors in this house, but two of them are freezes. So can't technically live in the two freezes if you wanted to. But you, if you do that, you mess up the whole house, and it causes a lot of problems. So I built this house in Alyssa's. A, a lip a, a lip is plain i don't know the world that came with pets in sims 3 and i'm like you know i might well just do that because i did not feel like building in twinbrook because i was having problems with that i was going to build in twin twinbrook twin brook but i didn't because i'm like i don't feel like building in that world the lighting's not good enough for me i was like uh might as well just go ahead and build in a different world so i loaded up a, a new save file built this house it looked great I went with it, and here it is. So it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a house. It's like a family house. So here, who's gonna live here is actually just only three people, which is gonna be Anne Marine and Anne Marie and Sammy. Those two are gonna live there with with Mila, their child, who's about to age up into a child, literally. And I'm quite excited for that. So the next episode will be a birthday type of celebration slash moving out. So a lot of people are gonna be moving out in the next part. So the house that they currently live in, Kelly's actually going to live in that house. I'm going to just redo it and make it her own. Because since she's actually in the ghost hunting career, I think she should have her own house. That's not too big, not too small. And she technically doesn't like to live in big houses. So I'm like, you know what? Might as well just give her the house that we already have and use that for her current living space. And I'll probably end up building it up to make it a little bit more like a probably like a mid top mid two-story house yeah i could do that and then i'll be able to do that yeah i ignore the wallpaper i don't know what i was doing with that i was watching a lot of sim 3 house building videos mainly diligracy and the sim supply and curtis perry <laughs> yeah i was mainly watching those people oh and stefo sims yeah i was watching those four people for building advice because I'm like their houses are goals and 
can learn a lot from them. So I just tend to just watch them. Didn't work out that way. My house looks kind of messed up. It's the first house I built in quite a while. First Sinsory house I built in 2016. So I'm like, uh, I don't know. I You guys want to see a speed build of it? You guys asked for it in the comments a few parts ago. And I said I was going to do one. So I was like, why not just go ahead and build one? And so, yeah, yeah here it is. It's not the best. It's a, it's a, just basically like a starter house. I'm not sure how they're going to afford it, but we'll figure it out. I might end up cheating the way just to get the money for it and end up building that way. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to just cheat my way through for them to afford it. Let's just say um, Sammy got some loans that he needs to pay, that he got to afford to pay the house. So that we can, we can always say that. We can say that for sure. So I was thinking of making like a, a brick home. Didn't work that way. So I kind of just match, miss and match the wallpapers with the white wallpaper and the stone and then the wood and like might as well be like a Twinbrook town council type of house. I don't know. Twinbrook. Twi Twinbrook. I, I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I'm crazy and those are things that will come later. So it's currently about, let's see, um, there's a lot of bedrooms, I, I can say. I did add a lot of rooms just because Sammy is an inventor. He's in the venting career. And as well as Amory's going to be in the daycare career soon once we move into this house. And she needs some room to know to um, take care of the children. So I might end up putting the kids upstairs in their own general room where they can go play, have fun, and play with toys and, and, and other things. And Amory might end up having another child soon. So we'll have more kids and... That should be fun, and I, I might end up moving them into a different house along the way once Anne Marie, or not Anne Marie, probably Mila will become like a teenager. I don't know what I'm going to do. I might end up moving them into a different world just because, or, or, unless, unless I do another Sims 3 University Life Let's Play. That could be a thing, that probably won't be a thing, but I might end up keep them all into the family and end up moving them into a different world just to, for safe, safekeeping, just because I want to have like a university lot or, or I can just play them off or I can play Mila off camera when she goes to university. I could, I could do that. I could totally do that. But if you guys want to see like an episode or two of Mila's life, like we can like, we go to university with her for like a couple of days. Not sure how that works, but, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Wait, wait, hold up. I forgot how you apply. Wait, no, you can apply for college. I remember that. And then you go to the university lot. I, I think so. I think that's what happens. And then we travel back. Ooh, I'm not sure. <laughs> it's been really long since I've actually, like, done a Sims 3 University Life Let's Play because I have no idea how this works. Like, now that I have a family in this, in this, in this world, how can I control two families at once? Can I get co, can I travel back from household to household? Is that the thing that I can do? I gotta figure out how to do that. So, if you guys know how to do that, let me know in the comments because I'm quite lost. That's all I can say. I'm quite lost with the fact where, can you control two families at one time? Hmm. I think you can. It's just different save files. It's like different saves, I guess. I'm not really sure how that works. Oh, wait, what, 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 was I, what was I doing here? Oh, yeah, here's the second floor. The second floor. Yeah, this is where I had problems. Well, semi-problems with the with the constraint for elevation. I should have taken that off. And the upstairs, yeah. It's just the upstairs. I Difficulties, so... When I was building this, I was like, wait, where is... No, actually, when I came back, I'm like, so where is the master bedroom going to be? Yeah. I was like, mm, I just don't know where it's going to be at. And it's going to be quite a tight space, but it's going to work. It's going to work one way or another. I'll try and fix it later, but I ended up finding it later on. Like that big old triangle or triangle shape area. Is actually the master bedroom. So Sammy and Amory are going to be living in that bedroom. And then Mila has her own bedroom. She's going to be aging up in the next episode anyway. Once she ages up, we'll move to the next house in the 
in the same part so you'll be more relevant. So that'll be fun. And you can see the moving van, take their stuff away and drive them to the new house. Some of the rooms are not actually furnished just because I wanted the house to be, hmm, semi-furnished. Just because I have some stuff in the old house that I want to place into the rooms for the time being. Ew. Hmm. That's something in my mouth. Whatever. But, um, I kept one room downstairs. I was going to be a bedroom because I was thinking if Kelly was going to move in at first. Like, uh, when I started building this, it was going to be Kelly and Marie. Kelly and Marie, Sammy, and Mila all living in the same house. But now I realized... No, that's a little bit too crowded. I think they should separate from one another and actually have their own house and afford their, and pay their own bills. So Kelly can stop being a freeloader and um, live in her own house and she'll be fine. So yeah, that, that's basically what happened there. And here is when I got back to the building part of it. It's been a while. It's been like about, let's see. Uh, let me check the date for this, for the first clip that you just saw. So I started March 27th. For the first clip of me doing the layout of the house and getting all the structure and everything as well. And then I come back today, April 6th. <laughs> That's how long it's been since I haven't touched this house. It's April 6th right now. 12, 11, 12 a.m. at this point in time of the video. And, uh, yeah. That's how long it's been and I had a different vision of the house. So, there are a lot of different colors to this house. A lot of different things. Like here, I was gonna make I was gonna make this the nursery for the new child or for Mila because I was thinking like she's not gonna age up very soon, and it's like nah, I might just end up aging up in the next episode just because she's almost aging up anyway, and I end up in the end making that a living room into that color, and so that is. And here, that that other room over there, it's going to actually be it was gonna be another bedroom, okay. But first, I was thinking, no, no, I made, I'm going to make this room Sammy's inventing where he sculpts, invents stuff, has all his inventions, all his plaques, all his awards on the wall, and everything like that. So that's what a, that room's going to be about. The bottom room is going to be the kitchen slash dining room, and the, and as well as the living room all on one floor, and another bathroom, and the also the laundry room. The second floor, yeah. I end up making, I was going to make that Mila's bedroom too small, too small. Didn't like it. And then I got the fact she's going to age up soon. So I'm like, yeah, I should make this a kid bedroom. I don't know what I did, but this bedroom ended up being my favorite bedroom I've ever created in my entire life. I don't know what it is, but Sims 3 with the creative style stuff literally gets me going. I'm like, so many colors. So many things I can choose from. I love this color wheel. I, I miss it so much. Like, I wish we had this back in The Sims 4. Even, like, The Sims 2 had it, but it was kind of restrict, restricted. And the only way you can make different type of, like, custom stuff is doing it yourself. And that will consider as custom content, not EA-based stuff. And I'm like, oh, why? <laughs> I did not like that. So, Sims 2 was... I had a had a creative style semi to it, um, but Sims Three literally did it for me the most. Like it had its own style. Like you could create anything that you wanted to the own style. They always wanted to make it like. That's what I really loved about the Sims Three, besides the generations aspect and stuff. The only thing I did not like about the Sims Three was the lag. That's all I gotta say. The lag was real, but it it. it it's just because it's the open world and I totally understand why The Sims 4 is not an open world because it will cause a lot of lag, a lot of things will be going on. And even if you have like story progression, it will cause a lot of problems. So I generally do understand why there's no story progression or any open world factors and but the loading screens get longer and longer. But I, I don't mind. Sims, Sims 4 is like my favorite thing ever because my get together let's play, it's... The story has just begun. It, it it just, it hasn't even like literally, like it has not even like an inch has not even begun with that storyline. That storyline has just begun and it's about to get even more intense. And I know that I have not done a lot of romance in that LP. It's just that Addie's life has been pretty hectic. And 
with the passing of her daughter, Lily, rest in peace, my heart. Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. <laughs> I blame the pool. I blame pools. That's why I can't swim. That's why I don't swim. So if you ask me to go swimming, I'd be like, um, no, step back and, uh, leave me alone. So I'm going to go cry in a corner now. But, uh, no, I don't, I don't know how to swim. So I don't swim really. So that's the reason why. And Lily, rest in peace, your heart and your soul. I miss you so much. <laughs> miss you so much. Anywho, but like I was saying that, uh, there's going to be a lot more things happening. I'm going to end up having some romance involved. So, so many things are going to be happening. I feel like that's going to happen very soon. So, this general area here is just, it was going to be a, it was going to be a little small little bedroom. Didn't work that way. It's going to be Sammy's music room because he's actually in a band with Wilbert, which he's going to be ending up hanging out with Wilbert for, for a little bit because we're going to do some band performances soon and get some ball rollings and once Amelia ages up she'll move out and have a lot more fun she might end up going to university I just gotta figure out how I can control two families at once because I always forget <sighs> wait unless I can do that unless you wait unless can you do that I don't I know I have to, I don't know I'll have to end up seeing how that happens I might end up asking people on Twitter or X Justin McCaw, I don't know. I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do with that. If I can't control two families at once, oh well. We'll just have to follow Mila's life for a little bit. Unless I have to do a separate universe, universe life let's play and then we can do that. Or I can... No! I can make two separate let's plays. No. I can just make two separate save files. I'll see what I can do. Like I said. Okay. Anywho, we're getting close to ending this video. Not really. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's literally 11 a.m. I'm loopy. I just woke up like not too long ago, but about two hours ago. My day has just started. I ate breakfast, started watching some videos, took some screenshots of this house, had a fun time, and uh, it's been great. It's been well. Oh, yeah, I, fin I started doing the second part of this house at midnight. Well, no, around close to one o'clock in the morning, and that happened. So the house might be a little bit uh, different in the end. So that front part, I just had couches where the door is. Didn't know why. I was having trouble trying to find a good type of table. I, when I had, like, on my old computer, I had two stuff packs that weren't mine. I, um borrowed them from a friend and now that I don't have I don't have them on my new PC I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that I might end up having to buy it because it I think it was um what was it it was high and loft stuff and town life stuff those are the two stuff I don't have in this for yeah I don't have it technically I just borrowed it from a friend and they let me borrow it so I'm like I have it now on my old PC but I don't have it on my new PC. So I'm like, hmm, that's going to be a problem. I don't have the stuff that I want. So I have to figure out how to do that sooner or later. And I'm going to end up, yeah, yeah. I don't have high and loft stuff. But do I? I don't, I can't remember. I, 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 don't, I don't know. Where is that thing at? Oh, I can't do it while I'm recording, whatever. Whatever, I'll figure it out. But mm, I just don't have two stuff packs. It's probably... High and Lost stuff and Town Life. Those are the ones I probably just don't have in my current game. And that's why I'm running out of objects to place everywhere. Oh yeah, gnomes. I was watching um, Mousy's Oh My Gnome video. That was hilarious. So I found some gnomes, took a picture. I'm going to tweet, tweet her that picture because she'll, she'll know. She'll know what I'm talking about. Gnomes. Oh My Gnome. <laughs> oh, I just love that video. You should check it out. It's a lot of fun. It's a lot of funny. But, uh, yeah, this is where the part I thought, no, 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 um, laundry basket. And I was like, I should place everything in this house. No. I have a few things at the old house I should place in the whole entire house. Like the laundry room stuff that we can keep. The cars. We have, like, about, oh, no. Kelly's going to keep the car. Robbie and Sam, yeah, no, Robbie and Wilbert will have to buy their own car. 
So that's going to be a thing that they need to buy and save up for. Well, well, we'll figure it out along the way once we get there. We'll figure it out. We will figure it out. And I just love creative style. I want to end up building more houses in The Sims 3. I just got to get better at it. So this is like based on my first house of 2016 in The Sims 3. So if it's bad, on if you think it's bad, let me know. I, I, I don't really care. It's just a house I wanted to build. I just haven't a lot of, I didn't have a lot of practice. But I will get better at it. I will get better at building. That's all I have to say. And if you guys want this house, I will try my best to see if it will work on the exchange. If not, then I'll put it, place a link down below. I just got to figure out how to do, well, I have to, yeah, I'm going to place it on Mediafire. And if it doesn't work on the exchange, I'll, it's, it's going to be on Mediafire. So you have two links in order to download this house. So, and the exchange is a pretty weird place. I haven't used the exchange in, a year. <laughs> yeah, a year. I haven't used an exchange in a year. So I really don't touch the exchange really. Um, but it'll be up there if you guys want to download the house if you want. And yeah, we're getting cl really, really close to the end of this build. It's about 25-ish minutes long. It took me almost uh, about three hours. I guess it's like in two hours and a half to build. Quite surprised how fast I built this. I might feel like at first I was going to build a modern house. I was like, oh, I should build a modern house because it'll be fun to build. No, it's a family-based let's play. Uh, let's do that. So I'm going to build a family house for everyone. Yeah, so that's what I did. So I'm, my, I'm thinking for my next speed build, I want to build a modern house. I'm going to try my best to make it look good. So I'm going to practice it for a little bit and see what you guys will do with those houses. If you guys want to renovate this house, Get, you, you can renovate this house, but it's going to be kind of tricky. So be careful of the two freezes that I have, but like in between of the first floor and the second floor. So just be careful if you renovate this house. If you like take out some walls, just be careful. You need constrained floor elevation on in order to fix the houses, to fix, fix this house. Because when I got better at constrained floor elevation, yeah. Things get tricky with that for sure. And I think it was around like 2 a.m. in the morning when I started at this point in the video, I started to be done. I'm like, I am done. I can't take it anymore. I want to be done with this house. I, I'm i not sure if you can go all the way. I didn't place a fence. I didn't feel like doing that. That the, This family is like, eh, we got all the privacy that we need. We got a bunch of windows. Like they, what haven't these people seen in our house? Literally, what haven't they seen? So they are mostly an open family. Um, open, modern family. That's all I got to say about that. And my game's been a lot smoother than recently, so I'm happy about that. And I want to go on vacation, so I might end up going on vacation soon with the family, probably to one of the, to either China, Egypt, or China, e Ch wait, Japan. It's either China, Egypt, or, yeah, China, Egypt, or France. I'm not, I'm not sure where I'm going to go with that family yet. But we're probably going on, on, like, on the last family vacation and see what happens there. Just before they move. And uh, so just so we can take Mila with us and have a fun time. So we'll probably do that in the next episode. And yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll age up Mila and then go on vacation. And then the next part after that part, we'll move out. So that's what we'll do, yeah. So yeah, here we're, <laughs> we were already in the screenshots. I was rambling on for days. But yeah, here's the bathroom. There's the toilet. There's the magazines. There's your sink. There's your mirror. You got things for days. But yeah, I will try my best to put it on the exchange and try to link down my the stuff for this house down below. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to comment down below on what you guys think about this house. Like and subscribe because I upload every single day if you guys do not know. Every single day, seven days a week. I don't do this full time. I wish I did, but I don't. I just do it for the fun of it. I do it as a hobby. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys all in the very next video. Bye.